everyone, Walker back here with another video. Welcome back. Today we've got my personal track bike, my fixed gear, my Surly Steamroller. Um, this bike's an absolute monster and we're just gonna get right into uh, all the bits and parts on it. So yeah, stay tuned. Starting off with the front, we're gonna have an Uno stem and handlebar. These are just a nice and light aluminum handlebar and stem. Uh, it's a 90 mil and a 38 centimeter. For those of you wondering what my dimensions are, I'm just, you know, a narrow rider. so. You know, I, I need a narrower handlebar. Uh, you can also see some uh, scuffed up tape. I dropped the bike a couple times, so you know that happens. Uh, I can always change the tape. Uh, one thing I did do with this bike is I took off a lot of the logos and the head badges and put electrical tape on it just to make the bike a little more low key. Uh, moving down, we're gonna have a Gator Skin. This is a 32 mil, and I've got plenty of clearance front and rear. I've also got a 32 mil on the back um, but yeah you know it's just a really nice and simple with the gator skins it means way less flats just because they're a very puncture proof tire they're not the most comfortable but the uh, wider size does do a good job moving back just a regular silver bottle cage as well as a 48 tooth crank set on here's a 48 uh, chain ring uh, paired with a 17 on the back so 48 17 nice and spinny for the city I figure I you know it's pretty much everything I need I've tried a 48 15 but it felt a little too heavy for me so, you know, I'm just gonna probably stick with this gear ratio for the city. Um, also have some fixation Gates pedals as well as straps. These do the job pretty well. I've heard of uh, some other ones that I might try, so we'll see if I do that later on down the road. Uh, also, Gator skin on the rear. Gonna also have a 32 mil, because that's what fits. Um, I can go wider if I need to. You can see there's plenty, plenty of clearance, even back here. Uh, moving up, we're going to have an XLG Pro SLC post paired with a Bontrager Verse Comp saddle. It's just what works for me, and the zero offset feels best uh, for me. So, you know, really is just kind of a regular, simple track bike, but really does get the job done really well. I've been riding this, uh, I'd say, just over 1,500 miles at this point uh, from the whole of 2023, and I love this bike. It's my main driver and you know, I wouldn't really change anything about it now that I have everything set on it. One more thing I wanted to say about this bike is having a fixed gear in New York City is probably one of the most practical things you can do in terms of maintenance. There's really nothing to maintain other than the chain if you're going brakeless or you know, a brake cable if you have a front brake. Um, if you have a really nice spinny ratio, you can get around pretty much anywhere and you don't really need gears for much around here because the city's relatively flat, so definitely Something to think about when you're riding in the city. Do you need all those gears? Personally, like I can ride this and I'm planning on doing a century soon on it. So uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, thanks for watching. All right, now for that free hub body sound test. Shout out uh, these mics for having some magnets. It's a fixed gear, so uh, there is no free hub. Thanks for watching.